evening, everyone. Welcome once again. Oh, wouldn't you know it. Episode 32. Wow. It's amazing, I tell you. Just simply amazing. All right, this morning, I've got a doozy for you. And I'm sharing a new product with you. First of all, I'm shaving with this DE razor, my Tampa Edition razor from the Tampa Shave Kit. Nice razor, believe me, it's a beauty. Okay, and the soap for today is Mr. Fitch's estimated 2011 members only shaving soap. And there's a good look at the tin right there. Four ounces in this container, and I have not done anything with it. I love this part right here. You see that? The ingredient list. Guess what? It doesn't have a lot of ingredients in that. I think that's a, a very cool thing. Less is better. Less is more, you know. Let's check out the scent. Mmm. Has a slight men's cologne scent to it. It's not too overbearing. Very clean scent as well. I have not soaked this one up. Here's a look inside the tin. First time for me. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Bought this from Brian Abernathy at TampaShaveCompany.com. Goodness sakes alive. I'm just being quite the spokesperson person for him, am I? Hmm. It's okay. The feeling is mutual, you know. Wow. I need some work today. And look at that. You can actually see hair popping up. Oh boy. You know what that means. Yes, a full shave today. I'm going to speed through the shave on top of the head today. And I will uh, do this part. So, I am also using my brush. This is the Omega brush by Parasso. Or for Parasso. Mm, nice horse hair brush. I'm going to get this in the water and get it hydrated. And I'm going to finish off with Brute. Splash on lotion by Fabergé. I just thought this kind of matched the scent of the soap, at least in part. I thought they got one good together. So that's what I chose for my splash on. All right, guys, here we go. It's time to get rocking. Let's test out this soap. Come on downstairs for the soaping. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're on our way. So there we have our lovely soap. And I've hydrated my brush and I'm squeezing out the water. And now we're going to load this up. Let's load it up, shall we? Oh, yes. We're not going to be afraid on this one. Let me tell you. Loading it up good. Very nice. Hmm, a little bit more. This is a tallow soap, so... I think the tallow takes just a tiny bit more work to load up, but not bad. Hey, that's a pretty good load. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's commit it to the wall, shall we? I am going to cap this off. And set this off to the side. And then, here is the bowl. I'm going to start whipping in the bowl to start and now I'm going to add some water just the tips of my bristles I can always add more water so how are you guys doing today hopefully you're doing very well I am doing much better thank you for asking and I got a decent amount of sleep last night which really does help haha <laughs> All right, let's see here. Well, I think we need to add even more water to it. So once again, I dip my brush in water. There we go. Now, now the lather is exploding off of the brush. Let's go ahead and really work it in. Okay. I do believe I'm nearly there. There we go. 
Look at that beautiful lather. Mm, mm, mm. Ha, very nice. And the scent is beautiful and clean and wonderful. Okay, guess what? Time to continue on with the shave and the devotion. So join me upstairs. I know I usually do the Bible reading with you looking and staring at the phone. This time you get to stare at my shining face. How about that? All right. Let me find the place that I marked in God's Word, and I'm going to share this with you. This is a discourse from Jesus, from John chapter 14, beginning at verse 1, and going through verse 7. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also. And you know the way where I'm going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Wow, that's terribly, a terribly, terribly wonderful word for us. Oh, and full of very deep meaning. I'll tell you what, we're going to unpack this a little bit while I go about my shave. All right. But first, the wet towel. I can't forget my wet towel, even though I forget kind of often, huh? All right. Oh, and it's coming down to it. Just rinsing that towel out. All right. Present the towel. Okay, working up the scruff, and I definitely have scruff this morning. All right, we'll set this aside, and we'll lather up. Now, this scripture from God's Word is truly profound, and of course the first thing we notice about it is Jesus is preparing a place for us. He's preparing a place for you. Believe me, he is preparing a place for you. Lather it up. Yes, he's preparing a place for you. And when the appropriate time comes, guess what? You and I will get to join him. And one of the things that I just want, want to make absolutely clear is that he wants us there. It's not as if, oh, good luck getting in. Yeah, you know, you probably aren't going to make it. No, it's not that at all. He has prepared a place for you. And if he's prepared a place for you, he's coming back to take you with him so that you might be where he is. Wow. And of course, in my father's house, there are many mansions. We are not talking about any slum. We are not talking about a slumlord here, okay? Believe me. 
Jesus our Lord, who is a carpenter on this earth, is also the carpenter in heaven. And he has hand-built all of the mansions himself. He truly has. And guess what? He has one prepared for you. It's going to be more miraculous than anything you could possibly imagine. I can't wait to get there. And yet, the Lord's got work for us to do while there's still time to do the work. And that's part of my work here is to do these wonderful shave videos for you and share the gospel. That's why I'm doing it. You know? Otherwise, I just do a regular shave video like every other guy out there. And so, you know, that gives me a special edge. It's kind of neat. All right, I believe it's like the third shave on this Dorkle blade. So let's go ahead for the first pass. Oh my goodness sakes alive! Did you see that? I think I cut off my sideburn! <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Not like a sideburn matters in my setup right now. I love it. Oh, and speaking of that, I've gotten all kinds of wonderful comments from people all over the place. about them liking this look for me. It's wonderful. You know? I watched Mr. Anthony Ep Esposito this morning. He's using a gold dollar razor. So this is a shout out to you, Anthony. And uh, he is a funny, wonderful guy. And he's got like 49, 50 shaves. No, 49, I guess it was today. 49 shaves on one, ra on one straight razor, honing it one time and doing it. I just think that's fascinating. He's a lot of fun. So anyhow, Anthony, shout out to you. Thank you for your videos. You've been an inspiration to me. Just as I emailed to you. And it's a neat thing. Okay. Wow. First pass complete. Not too shabby, but needs some more work. Okay. Now, of course, the question is... He's going to prepare the place for us. How is it that we get there? I love this question of Thomas, you know. And you know the way, place where we are going. Well, Thomas asked, kind of... It's not necessarily a question, but it's a statement by Thomas. And uh, Thomas underscores the fact that we don't know where you're going. <laughs> you know? And yeah, Jesus responds to that. I'm just going to remind me of, of, the, of the words quick. I want to be accurate if I can. All right. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Hmm. And Jesus says these very important words. I am the way the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Wow. 
You know what he's doing here, don't you? Jesus is telling us, without telling us directly, that he's God himself in human flesh. That's who he is. Him and the Father are inseparable. They always have been. They always will be. Second pass, against the grain. No. With the grain. No. Sideways grain. Good at six. So yes. It's wonderful. He got it all planned out. But there's only one way to get to where he... To the place where he is. And that is to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Jesus wants you to be with him. But there's only one way to the Father. And that is through his one and only Son, Jesus Christ. No one comes to the Father except by me. So if you think you have eternal life in Jesus Christ, and don't believe in him. Well, you know what I'm saying. You think you believe in God and and yet you reject the one whom he sent, Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone, the most important guy. You don't have him. And you don't have eternal life. But that's easily changed. You receive him as your Lord and Savior and you believe in what he has said and does and you have a one-way ticket into heaven it's just marvelous I didn't do this last time but oh well okay very good. Third pass coming up. So believe in Jesus. Believe in our Lord and Savior. He is the key to the kingdom of heaven. Without him, you'll never get there. You must believe in him. It is not an option. All right? There are no contracts to sign. There is no waiting period. You don't have to go through a lengthy uh, inquirer's class or class on, on the faith to receive him. You simply receive him with your heart. And once you believe in him, guess what? You go from death to life just like that. He truly loves you. Okay. Final pass. Very good. And I'm going to have plenty for my head, too. I'll do two passes up there as well. But, you're going to see that one and fast forward. Otherwise, this video is going to be too long. Alright, enough said. And, the final. Against the green. It's looking good.
a thing of beauty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Fast forward ahead. Full engines ahead, please. All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Oh, it feels better. Okay. Whew. Like, share, and subscribe. Please join me. You know, this channel would not be much without you, the viewers. So I really would appreciate your response, your comments. Got a prayer request? Send it my way. I'll pray for you. This is going to be a wonderful relationship. Okay, you guys, that does it. Episode 32. How about that? May the Lord bless you. And may he give you Nick Free and Baby Butt Smooth Shaves. But before I end this, I forgot. I need this. And I probably should use my Vander Hagen Shave Butter. Goodness sakes alive. I'm always getting the cart in front of the horse. I wish the cart, I wish the horse would leave the cart behind him instead of bringing it up front all the time. Ugh. All right. Let's do this. Oh, beautiful shave. <sighs> All right, you guys, and now for the stinging part, most of the time. Well, it's not all the time, but, you know. There's a healthy sting to it today, but not as bad as yesterday. I, You know, you didn't even see me yesterday do this. And let me tell you. The stinging action was horrific, and only because I had so many nicks and stuff. Oh, does that feel good? Alright, you guys, there you have it. Again, the Lord bless you, give you nick free shaves, and baby butt smooth shaves. Have a great day. Bye.